Nolajet here at St. John. Good stuff in here. Yeah. Welcome to Nolajet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our French Quarter New Orleans Restaurant Review Vlog, feast with me on some great New Orleans seafood with golf fish, shrimp remoulade, oysters, and lemon icebox pie in the New Orleans French Quarter at St. John Restaurant for a New Orleans Creole Food Restaurant Review video. We're right here next to the French Market and we're heading on down to Decatur Street where we visited before to some other restaurants in this area. You can see Coop's Place right there that we have a previous video for that you can also check out. So we're going to have a really good time today as St. John is located here in the New Orleans French Quarter at 1117 Decatur Street. And St. John is a brand new restaurant which opened up in the French Quarter in September of 2021. St. John has been getting great restaurant reviews, which has quickly made it popular with tourists and locals who love their New Orleans French Quarter Creole food. This is my first visit to St. John and I'm meeting a group of other NOLA gents for a fun lunch today. So join us for some good times, good food, and good people. So let's head on inside and get the fun started. Whoa, all right, of course they've got their place mail with their name on it like a lot of joints. And you immediately are greeted by this really pretty bar here on the front. And of course, it's still the Christmas season in New Orleans all throughout the Carnival Mardi Gras season. That's the Commodore, yeah! <laughs> They've got their name on the mirror at the bar, which is a nice touch. And there's also a good selection of beer and other drinks here, of course. So this is a nice environment. We were supposed to be upstairs today in the private room, but they didn't have enough staff to actually let us be able to do that. But we're gonna go ahead and check it out up here. So for my first visit, I'm really curious to see what it's gonna look like up here. So far, it all looks really nice in here. They've done a great job with the place. Everything's still brand new and not broken in yet. So we've got some work to do here. They have a little bar up here and then several little tables. So this looks like quite a pleasant place to enjoy a meal. And of course, we're gonna have to go check out the most important feature up here, the balcony. So we're gonna hope it's unlocked. Uh, let's give it a try. And yes, I can get on through here. Wow, this is a really fantastic, beautiful view out here. And they do have tables out here, so these might be the best seats in the house for a nice day. And today is a beautiful day in New Orleans. It's nice and warm. It's a beautiful, bright blue sky, and everything is looking really nice today. So it's a really fantastic day to be in the patio. And we're going back downstairs again, of course, because we sadly couldn't get our upstairs space, but we still will have a pretty good time right here, and we'll enjoy ourselves. There's more of the gents that have arrived. We've got a nice little pelican built out of some driftwood, it looks like here. And then as we look around to the other side, they have an open kitchen seating area where you can actually sit and do some special meals where the chef will prepare some special things for you. So that's always a good concept. The same folks that own this restaurant also own Grigri, which also has a chef's table concept. So you can eat at both places to experience a double chef's table experience. Let's take a look at this menu now. So we have salad with roasted garlic Caesar, house salad, Hoppin' John oyster salad, appetizer, oyster St. John, oysters three ways, poached in a double cream, crispy fried and oyster dressing, and roulevent, hot shrimp roumelade, smothered turkey necks, baked doubled crabs, gumbo du jour, sandwich, the shrimp boat, 1117 burger, sugar cane glazed chicken sandwich, fried oyster po' boy, entree, mob salad, catfish amadine, pork belly cassoulet, chicken clemenceau, seared gullfish pork bouillon, and side baked macaroni pie with red gravy, vegetable du jour, smothered green beans, creole corn mac chaux, and smashed new potatoes. Well, the gents are all here and we're getting hungry and thirsty, so let's uh, go ahead and get warmed up with a little Fun times and enjoyment as everybody is ready to let loose a little bit. So I started off with a coffee 
because, hey, my friends over at Dead Sled Coffee really got me addicted to good coffee, and, uh, you know, it's always nice to have some good coffee. So check out their website and have a discount code for you below if you want to try some great Dead Sled Coffee. And they also have great coffee here at the St. John. And then I had a beer because, hey, you know, after a little caffeine boost, I've got to have my beer pros toast. And after that, I had to get an old-fashioned. These are beautiful. So that orange had a little spicy mix on it, so it's kind of a unique take on an old-fashioned. So uh, here we go. Everybody is here and ready to get started. So one of the gents got the gumbo, and then another one got this beautiful oyster three-way appetizer, which was the star of the show for everybody, and they let me taste it. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> that oyster was fantastic, and then I got the hot shrimp roumoulade, which also looks fantastic, and it has those fried green tomatoes under it. Ooh, the shrimp looks beautiful. Oh, yeah. Let's give it a little taste, and mmm, yeah. And then the fried green tomato looks pretty darn tasty, too, so... Combination of oysters and fried green tomatoes this is a very nice one, so I'm happy with that. But I have to say, wow, the oysters were a lot better, even though this was great. Now let's try this little vegetable side here. That's pretty good, so it's a nice little combination of items. And even though this is a fantastic dish, I have to say the uh, Oyster Three Way is definitely the winner of anything that I ate today. Everybody at the table agreed that was by far the best dish, so definitely get that. But this uh, hot shrimp roumoulade is also a good dish too, so just get both to fully enjoy yourself. As, uh, hey, you know, uh, it's a good day to feast. So everything so far has been very enjoyable. I'm having a great time so far. And now I'm going to have to go ahead and destroy the remaining little tiny bit of this appetizer. And I'm kind of sorry to see it go as I've enjoyed it. But I'm also craving more than Oyster 3 Way. And the Bishop gave me a tiny taste. But ooh, I kind of want the full serving as it was so delicious. So uh, definitely take a moment to savor that Oyster 3 Way before you order anything else, I would say. Um, our waitress told us that there's one uh, very steady regular that comes in here and orders three of them for their meal every day. So I think I could uh, probably uh, use that as a meal. I might have to try that someday. I come here and just order it for you. It's so delicious. All right, so just like I destroyed this shrimp room a lot, destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this appetizer. And when you're down there, remember I do work for tips, so make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as it does help me and I really do appreciate it. One of the gents got the pork belly cassoulet here and that looks pretty tasty. And then another gent got this fried shrimp boat po' boy that looks amazing. And then another one got the fried oyster po' boy, which also looks fantastic. And then here's the fried catfish amadine that's also a very pretty dish. And then here are the sides with the mac and cheese pie with the red gravy and green beans. And here is my seared gullfish corp bouillon that I'm ready to dig into. Ooh, this looks nice. So, this is a good shrimp, although I just had some shrimp on my appetizer, so i uh, kind of wanting a little extra mixed up stuff here. We do have plenty of rice in here, and we'll just mix that up with uh, a little of this shrimp and see how that goes. So, the sauce here is really tasty. It's got some good flavors here. But the uh, winner here, I think, is going to be this gulf fish. Look at this. Ooh, yeah. This is a pretty fish. So, always, uh, fish is nice to eat in New Orleans. They definitely cook some fantastic fish. It's moist, it's flavorful, it's definitely well seasoned, and it is cooked perfectly. So, it's got a lot of flavor. This is uh, a drum of some type. I'm not sure which type it was, but uh, definitely was a good fish. And it goes well with this sauce. Of course, we have another shrimp here to take down. So, looks like I'm having a lot of shrimp today for my meal. I'd like to have some more of those oysters still, though. But just like I destroyed my entree, destroy the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about the core beyond. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account, because I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. Hello. <laughs>
Chuck, how is that? Two thumbs up or one thumb up? There's a third thumb. You can't see it. Yeah. Commodore got the bread pudding. Commodore, you don't like bread pudding, do you? Of course I got the bread pudding. What else would I get? You always get the bread pudding. <laughs> a la mode. You don't like that at all, do you? He is wow. Real right, good. good. And nobody else got it either. Oh. So you're going to eat it all, I guess. Look at this. We have double bread pudding contest. People are stealing the bread pudding. This is crazy talk. So I had to be a bit rebellious and get the lemon icebox pie. Nobody else at the table got this but me. So we're going to see if I made a good choice or not. I don't know. I'm a little nervous. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is really good lemon icebox pie. I'm really happy with this. So I'm not disappointed at all to be a rebel today. I'm quite happy to have chosen this wonderful dessert. It's got a lot of flavor. It's got a little tart tinge just the way I like it. So this is a really enjoyable dessert. Um, I would probably have been happier if they would have put a little ice cream on the side though instead of just the whipped cream. Uh, you know, it's still all good, though. I probably should have uh, just spoken up and told him to make an alamode to give it a little extra kick up. This is a uh, very good version of a lemon ice box pie, and it definitely is going down very easy. I'm having no trouble taking this thing down. So this is a very enjoyable thing. I'm kind of sad that I've only got a little bite left here. So this has been a great meal. Now, just like I've destroyed this dessert, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you thought about this lemon ice box pie. And while you're down there, remember to check out the link to my Patreon account because I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived and the total for all of our bills was $713.30 and that included tip. My portion of the bill was $90 with tip, which overall was a pretty good deal these days. So. Thanks so much to everybody at St. John for some fantastic food. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you would just remember to take a moment to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. And make sure to tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there, and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.